Hello everyone, this is Rick and today I'm going to share with you uh, a basic introduction to conditional formatting. So what I've done here is I've pre-populated a spreadsheet with 100 students and I've randomly placed in test scores. They have four tests, test one, test two, test three, and the final. And then their final grade is tabulated based on these percentage weights for the test. So you can see the test, the uh, final scores are all over the map as far as the um, as far as the final score goes. So what I'm going to do is apply conditional formatting to these final grades. So how I do that is I highlight all of the cells that I want to apply conditional formatting to. So in this case, I've highlighted from from student number one all the way down to student 100 in this final grade column. And then to get into conditional formatting options, you click on the Home tab, Home button there, and then click over here on the right on Conditional Formatting. So once you get there, there's several options. For example, if you wanted to highlight the top 10% of the student grades in the class, you could go in here and choose under Top slash Bottom Rules and say Top 10%, and you'll notice that it even gives you an option here to adjust it, right? But we're going to leave it at 10%. And then there's several options here to how you want to do the setting. We're just going to leave it. Now we'll go ahead and, and change the color there. And we will say OK. Now you'll notice that several cells are highlighted. Should be 10 of them. Because what we've done there is we've highlighted the top 10%, the top 10% of the grades in the class. Okay, I'm going to undo that and now show you a few other options. Another example is you can go in and say, show me all the students with an A in the class. So you could highlight the cells rules here, choose greater than, and then everyone with the 89.5 or higher, we will say, has an A in the course. And then uh, we'll change this color again over here and we'll choose the, um, this one. Again, multiple options here. You can do custom. You can fill it in with whatever you want to. But we'll go ahead and just leave it like that and we'll say OK. So um, here what it did is it highlighted everyone in the class with an A. And of course you can take a quick scan there. You can see that they're all you know, typically in the 90s I don't, unless there's 89 point something highlighted. We're going to undo that and let's see what other options we have. So you can do data bars, color scales, things of that nature. Um, you can do the bottom 10%, everybody above the average. So several options, and these are just pre-built ones in here. This is just an introductory um, lesson today on the um, conditional formatting. And as, you, as I move forward, I'll be getting much more in depth into different uh, formats. Anyway, so what else can we do here? Data bars is one you might use more in a work environment. But what that does if you were trying to share show numbers to someone, you know, to make them to look uh, you know, for a presentation or something like that, this might be beneficial. But you'll notice the data bars go over the darker highlights extend more use up more of the cell the higher the number. So what it does is it corresponds to the number in the cell. So if you were using financial figures or something like that, that would be that might be a little bit more useful than this. But anyways, that was it for today. I just want to share with you the basics and what conditional formatting is. And again, feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel, and we will have um, many more uh, tutorials coming up. Thanks.